My name is Gerald Langford. I'm from Clay Chapel High School, and my piece is titled The Way in Which We Live. Community. Does that mean that we bind together as a family? Yet we're so diverse. We're like leaves on a tree. Our minds are polluted like the land outlining the streets. You see, we judge one another as if we can't be beat, while different roads and plants create a community. We say it takes a village to raise a child. Though we keep stepping back, letting them all go wild. Our journey being roads, we evolve into an intersection. We share one point, then continue, not recognizing the erosion of our minds, chasing when it was our time. We toss things out of the window because our hearts have gone blind but wait. You would think in a community, our heart's love would combine. If it takes a village to raise a child, tell me, why do we step aside, not going the extra mile? A plant so beautiful, with roots running deep. It says nothing, but those roots wrap in repeat. Pain and hurt is what they're tied to. But you would never expect hurt and a beauty so true. So what happens in the fall when all the leaves are gone? We all walk past it knowing something's wrong. Why do we move on with not one care to give when we catalyze the community in which we live? If a village is needed to raise the young, why do we repulse the feeling of fundamental love? We've learned through music that it's okay to be immoral, leaving us to be judged by our ethnicity under a certain title. Guys, do you not see that your plants have been planted in concrete and not in the ground? Because now we're disrespecting ourselves and tearing each other down. But ladies, ladies, don't you think we get that enough through some of the men around? Every day we wake up, it's cloudy until the sun makes it brighter. So why can't we share smiles and take each other higher? Thank you.